Hi guys, Liz here. Happy Wednesday to you. I'd like to first start off by saying thank you for all of your lovely comments on Monday's video where I took you to my storage room doors and I kind of peeked through the doors, had you peek through the doors at what I like to call organized and unorganized home decor chaos. Now, I know a lot of you showed interest in certain, you know, items that you've been looking for, and I would love to ship them out to you guys, but when I look at the complexity of what I'd have to ship out and the fact that I'm really busy right now, I just, I don't think I can do it right now. So what I may do, because you guys gave me all these wonderful ideas, is maybe plan ahead where we go in there and I pull some items and do it like a huge giveaway. You know, we might do that down the line because I've never done one, but I need to look into it because I don't know how it works. So anyway, you guys, what I'm trying to say is please don't be offended that I won't be shipping any of this out. It's just I'm, I'm swamped right now. I've got a lot going on. And um, like I said, maybe another time for sure, but let's all plan. I'll, I'll plan ahead for it. Let's get into the video. It's going to be a short one. Um, so with that said, as far as getting rid of old stuff, out with the old, in with the new. Did you guess where I went? Anybody, any takers, where'd I go? If you guessed the Copper Cricket, you guessed correctly. We went to the little consignment store yesterday and I didn't get much, I didn't get much, just a few things. But what I picked up, I love. First item, the lantern. Check it out. Look at the detail. Kind of rustic, but I love this detail. That's what sold me on it. And look at the top, and almost a little nautical-ish right super cute how much was this 1850 it's a good size so i thought that was a fair deal cute on to the next then as i was checking out i saw this up by the front desk and i thought well my 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 what do we have here and you guys are all familiar with the little blue fly and I have seen her use, you know, something similar in her designs when she's making a floral arrangement or something like that. And I thought, ah, maybe I can copy her. Now, I know this is probably for postcards or pictures or whatever, but I thought, you know what? This would be great if I wanted to use like a greenery and kind of, I have a place to kind of like, you know, snug it in here and do something really fun with it. So, yeah, this was a score. Next, look what I found. These beautiful candle holders. Now, what sold me on these is the little, you know, fake crystals. It's just those little details that make me say, wow. And the price, too good to be true. When I saw it, I was like, wow, sign me up, $12.50. You guys can see that. I'm telling you, their their prices are amazing. I you can't find this at Hobby Lobby. No, no, you can't. But you can find it at the Copper Cricket. Now, my next item is near and dear to my heart because it's something I have a little obsession with. Can you guys guess? Let's see how well you know me. What am I obsessed about? Roosters and chickens. So when I saw this one, I said, you are coming home with me. Yes, you are. Look how cute. And look at the leaves in between the feet. How cute is that? It's a cute little chicken, you know, cookie jar. So I thought this was a score. And the best part, where's the price? I think it was $12.50. Yep, $12.50. I'm telling you, this place is amazing. So that's all I got at the Copper Cricket. I didn't get much. I got one, two, three, you know, like, you know, four items, four, well, five, if you want to count the pair of 
candle holders. But um, anyway, not bad. And I've got another tiny, tiny, tiny haul to share with you from an antique store that's in the next city over. And it's called the Fox Den Antiques. So if you're in the Northern Virginia area, another great place to shop is Fox Den Antiques. You can easily spend an hour in there shopping the vendor's booths. It's not necessarily all antiques. They do have a very eclectic mix there. But anyway, um, every once in a while, I will find some cute stuff. Actually, I used to find stuff there all the time, but those vendors moved out and their prices were awesome amazing you really got a deal when you went there but they've moved out and the vendors that are there now they have jacked their prices up which i'm not happy about because i am an avid shopper so i know when i see stuff from all these other stores i know when the price is inflated you know what i mean like 20 30 dollars above sticker i'm like no so but anyway with that said i found a cute a, a couple cute items that were fairly priced and i grabbed them my first item is this adorable sign that says nest. Obviously somebody made it and they put a little hanger on it. Look at the back, but I love the color. The color is what sold me and I thought the little bird's nest was cute and I liked how rustic it was around the edges. So I got that and then I got this adorable little stool. I just thought this was so cute. So anyway, I don't have the price on it, but it's cute. I thought I could use this as a riser with maybe my next two items. These are my next two items. Any guess what it is? They're identical, but I thought they were cute. So you guys, let's talk about this. Oh, they took the tag off. I can't tell you how much this was either. But, um, hold on a second. Sorry for the bag crinkling noise. So guess what they did here? Easy peasy, you guys. This is greenery from Hobby Lobby. Hello, all of us that shop there, we know this is Hobby Lobby greenery. Um, and this is one of my favorite ones. And then they put some like, like mossy stuff right there in a little galvanized bucket. I mean, simple, but cute, right? I thought these would be really cute next to some lemons for summer. I could even use it, this little stool as a riser and then put this one, you know, beside it and then do something cute. Maybe even incorporate that nest sign with a little plate holder. Who knows? But Options. so that's it for my teeny, teeny, tiny haul. Out with the old in with the new. Now, because I got some new items, I am going to hold myself to a new rule. Out with the old, in with the new. All right, Liz, I, yeah, we can do that. But you, you gotta get rid of a few more things to make room. And I gotta tell you, just getting rid of this pile in my storage room made all the difference. So I am loving that. Um, but I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna pull some more stuff that I plan to get rid of. I think I'm gonna try to get rid of some of the summer decor that I did, that I have yet to use. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna decorate my basement in coastal. I just don't, I don't want to. So I'm gonna get rid of these two. And these are super cute for summer, kind of nautical-ish. This has rope around it. Comes with a glass candle holder and so does this. And it's kind of a cute pair, so. Those are gonna go bye-bye. I bought a set of these last year. These are candle holders. Uh, I got them at, at home. They were $17.99. I don't know if you guys can see the detail. I haven't used them this year, just haven't. So these are gonna go. I bought these last year, Burlington Coat Factory and they have these nice little things on the bottom so you don't scratch your surface. Um, I love them, but I'm not using them. So why keep them? I have two of these nautical huge candle holders. They also come with a glass candle holder on the inside. They're, they are cute. I, I, I do like it and I hesitate to get rid of it, but it's big and I've got two 
They're just taking I have up space. this pretty glass candle holder that looks like coral. And I, I, I remember I filled this with sand and I had a pretty beach candle in here. Loved it. So I'm going to get rid of that because I'm not using it. And I've got this, which I did not use this year, which is a little lighthouse and it's stone. So it could go indoors or outdoors. Home goods for 29 bucks. So it's going to go. Anyway, I think that's good, right? I got a few little new things and I'll get rid of a few things. So I think that's the way I'll operate here, you know? Then I won't feel so guilty. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this little video for today. I'm sorry we didn't decorate. All right, guys, I will see you Friday. Not sure what we're doing. Time will tell.